Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Yay! Yay, it's Lumber! And it's back to normal. So, it's it's past Halloween. Our next, our next holiday is going to be Thanksgiving. And hopefully we're going to get some, like, red bone turkeys or green bone turkeys or some kind of weird turkeys this year. And maybe some other things, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Who knows? You know, he's he's been concentrated on uh, produce, so... Don't know. Uh, I ate a pink candy bar. I probably shouldn't have, but I wanted to build more onto a bridge. Um, of course. Yeah, yeah it's going to be a bridge. But I need to see where I'm at with things. So... Let's go up here. Probably shouldn't be in first person, because of the, the pink stuff. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 there we go. Okay, so I just move this. Beep. Everything is attached, right? Yeah, we're good. So let's see how far we got last time. I think... Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. I don't think we got all the way across. Oh, uh, try that again. But I, I can't remember, so it's been a while. Um, we've been working on other bridges. We've been working on our... Um, Palm Bridge, the drivable Palm Bridge. So, mm. by the way, Danny Boy has joined me, and uh, he has a nasty little trap um, for catching scammers. Um, basically, as you're walking across it, it traps you underneath, and then the laser sets off, and you die, and you lose your axes. So I asked him, I'm like, doesn't that kind of make you the scammer? He goes, no, 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 I, I give their axes back. I'm like, yeah, but if somebody thought it was a shop, and then they walked in, and then... <sighs> oh, well. Just be nice. Everyone, be nice. Oh, gosh. Okay. I need to count. So if I'm right here and zoom all the way out, I can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 will get us to right there. So 19 more doors. And over there on the left-hand side, right there is where we're, it's going to end up. So let's head on back. We're going to build up 22 doors, maybe? 22 doors? 22 doors, code. <clears throat> that's a lot of that's a lot of doors. That's is going to be a very long door bridge but this should get us down to where we need to be to drive to Yellowwood this will be my first bridge to Yellowwood um, it is possible to get Yellowwood by long planking down there but it's not a feasible way of like picking up wood every single time so what we're going to do is we are going to build a bridge to there and hopefully uh, actually, I would be able to build it down into the water as well. Because with the way that we do the stair steps, right? You can, you could stair step it down. So, um, like if you're in the water, you could actually jump off of the water. Or the, the doors. So, ready, boy? There you go, boy. Boink. There we go. Oop, 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 oop. <laughs> Silly goose. Um, I don't know if I have doors up there or what I need. So let's go check first. I probably should get more consistent with my uh, my builds and try and get them done. But, oh well. And if this is your first time joining me, yes, it's very scruffy, okay? This is No Shave November, and this is the uh, third day. Is it November 3rd? Yeah. Third day, November 3rd, and it's looking quite well. Uh, I got a little bit of salt and pepper that I didn't realize I had. Gray hair is actually coming to Code Primate. So, coming soon, gray hair. Um, you know, it's a work in progress. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, I didn't, like, I didn't spike my hair or do, do the gel in my hair. I just kind of combed it and, and watered it down. So, if it looks kind of fluffy, I do apologize. Um, it's Sunday, and I didn't want to get ready all day. And I shouldn't have to. Today is relaxation day. That's what I'm doing. I'm taking a relaxing me day. So, but you are probably either in school or no, a lot of kids are off. So if you're off, I mean, great holiday, you know, 
Okay, looks like we're going to need to build um, ladders first. So, let's see. We're going to need ladders first to get up there. And then, yeah, we're going to need a lot of ladders. Okay. All right, buddy. Let's go. Whee! Right down here. Boom. And let's just start building ladders like crazy. Other. Go. Rotate. Doink. Doink. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven. Sorry. Concentration today, today has been on point. Like, not... I, t I took my uh, my medicine and stuff, but it's uh, it's just been really focused. Got a lot of stuff done. Still relaxed, but it just felt good. It felt really good to be very concentrated, very tuned in today. And don't get me wrong, I love my ADHD, but every once in a while it's just oof. By the way, for those of you that didn't know, I have ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyper Disorder, which uh, I actually believe is my superpower. I mean, if, if there were such things as like uh, superpowers and, and stuff like that, ADHD would definitely be one of them. What can I, can I just toss that? Hold on. Toss, toss, there you go, toss. Yay! Just tossing it in there. That's awesome. Didn't realize I could do that. I know I could like throw it on ice, but come on, come on. There you go. Drink. Ooh, up, up. Wee, 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 wee. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Who sells axes? I don't sell axes. What axe are you looking for? What? Axe. Oh, it's Danny. Dude, you have all the axes, don't you? <laughs> I think he's got every kind of axe that's in the game. At least I, I saw that you had many axes earlier. There we go. Good. Um... I want to kind of address something. I see a lot of posts all the time where people are talking about snowflakes. Everybody's a unique snowflake and everybody gets their feelings hurt all the time. I want to tell you something right now. People who post things like that probably have no soul. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, don't say that code. They're just It's just a mean comment that somebody says. It's something for someone else to say to hurt to cause pain to cause somebody else's feelings to get hurt and don't get me wrong I I don't like entitled people people who think they're entitled to things that it's a right to have things but I do believe that every person is a good person and for someone else to say that you're literally that's just it's just a mean comment it's like when somebody says they're sweaty or they're salty on Fortnite. What? No. Everybody's trying. Everybody's inside the game. And everybody's in competition. It's a competition. That's why... That's what happens. And what makes it worse is... I see a lot of people who are saying, well, Fortnite's very aggressive and everything else. Yeah, it is. It is very competitive. It is a competitive game just like uh, Arsenal, just like um, Murder Mystery 2. It is it is a competition, and everybody's trying their best to get first place. So why would you go and down somebody for trying their best? Like, even... Like, I've played on squads before, and I've had, you know, off games where... I didn't do so well, and people call me trash. Why? And then people say that the game's trash, and that 
the the controller was trash or this was trash or that was trash no it, you just had a bad game or you just didn't do well that round there's other rounds that you're gonna get that's that are great and you need to keep in mind that there are a hundred players per game okay there's a hundred players one of them is going to win during solos four of them might win during squads only two will win during duos okay so by your logic there are 99 there are yeah 99 sweaty people during a solo don't say that stuff if you're in a game with me and i hear you say it, i'll quit i will jump out because I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear how you think somebody else is so salty or somebody else is so sweaty to try and get a win. <sighs> I joke around every once in a while, but <sighs> just toxic. It's a very toxic reality. So, sorry for complaining. I need to reel it in a little bit. But, <clears throat> the comments about people being unique snowflakes and everyone's special you are special in fact every single one of you that's watching this video right now is like no one else who's watching this video right now you are a special individual unique person you can do things that others can't and a lot of people can do other things that you can't it's just recognizing that and not using that as a crutch or as an entitlement to something. That's that's what I don't get. When when you use that as an excuse, that's when it becomes a problem, and that's when people start saying stuff like, oh, unique snowflake. Shush. Shush your mouth, you, in the comments section. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys have noticed this or not, but... Hi! Wow, so many pink cars. Yeah, don't glitch them out, please. Thank you. Hi! <laughs> um, I just... I wanted to tell you guys that you are unique, and you are special, and you are individuals, and... People shouldn't be going around saying that stuff. If the world... were perfect... We wouldn't have hot dogs. <laughs> it's just... I don't know. I want you to accept those around you, and I, w I don't want you to try and push your thoughts or influences onto anyone. That you, shouldn't, you shouldn't push somebody to believe in something that they don't. Or to think in a certain way, or to be in a certain way. You, you let them believe whatever they want to believe. You let them do whatever they want to do. As long as you're not hurting anyone, and as long as you're not, like, pushing to someone else's realm. Don't hurt each other, you know? <clears throat> okay, I, I am building on my land. I'm building right up there on my land. What's going on? One of the things that kind of pushed this, um, this topic, this idea in my head, was um, my daughter took it upon herself to get my son's phone and go through it and start deleting a whole bunch of apps. All of his apps. And her reasoning behind it was he had too many things on his phone and he needed to clean them because it was taking up too much memory and, and killing his battery. Don't care. You are not his boss. You are not his, his parent. And if you really felt that it was a problem, you could come to me and talk to me about it, or you could have asked him and told him about it. And if he says no, then guess what? It's none of your business about what's on his phone, and you shouldn't delete things. That goes for all brothers and sisters out there. <clears throat> Parents, all right? If you're going through your kid's phone, good parenting. Kids, if your parents are going through your phone, Just saying. Until the age of 18, everything that you own, everything that you have, every private message, public message, phone message, whatever the case may be, 
is still under the responsibility of your parents. Uh, sorry, that's that's for the United States. I'm not sure about other countries and stuff like that. So, and there should be a, a trust relationship there that you trust your parents to go into your phone and there should be a trust relationship there that parents you should trust that your kids aren't doing stuff that they're not supposed to on their phones now every once in a while there is uh, a need for privacy and you need to respect the boundaries of that absolutely but at the same time it's like if there is a problem all kids should be able to go to their parents no matter what and parents you should be open enough that if your kid is having a problem or needs help with something, you should be able to, they, they should be able to come to you and not get in trouble because they have concern, a genuine concern. So, <clears throat> which we do. I mean, my kids know if there was anything that they needed, they could absolutely come to me at any time. If they, if they felt wrong about something or if something didn't feel right, they, they would come and they would tell me. And they wouldn't get in trouble for it. By the way, make this a documentation, okay? So if if you're friends with my kids or whatever, <laughs> and they ever need reassurance that they're not going to get in trouble, just come and talk to me. Here it is, documented today, it's November 3rd. Perfect, 2019. <laughs> Anyhow. I don't know where I was going with that. Just... <sighs> wow, you like my base? My base? No, their base. Okay, cool. I do like their base. It's got like an apple tree and stuff on it. A little orchard. I had a lemon tree at one time. I'm building on it! Please, please let me build. What in the world? There. By the way, I, I know this might be boring to you, just watching me build, but that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is to talk to you guys. So, <clears throat> I mean, it is kind of a tutorial on like how to build door bridges, but at the same time, you are getting the full force of like how long this takes. I mean, I've been working on this thing for geez, months. Months? Yeah. It's been months that I started this adventure. Hi. I got the last one up there finally. We. <clears throat> the one thing that I always hope is like, I hope that this is worth it. I know I'm having fun building it, but like, in the long run, am I going to be a yellow wood shop? Probably not. Will I have the ability to get yellow wood anytime I want? Yes. And that's a good thing. <sighs> I still have people all the time talking to me like, Code, you shouldn't go get the, the yellow wood. It's it's for Tick. tick. And she, it her, was her last request. I'm like, guys, it was put back in the game so we could go and get it. It's okay. Tick would want to. Like, she was a builder. And she understands the need for all colors of wood. All the different palettes. And if there's a color on the palette, she would say use it. I, not that I want to put words in her mouth, but I'm, I would have an intuition to that. Anyhow. <clears throat> Awkward silence climb. <clears throat> How long have I been recording? 19 minutes. Oof. We've got 10 minutes left. Jeez. <laughs> uh... If you are on holiday and you're having a good holiday, good deal. I, I hope for the best. I hope that your holiday is being uh, filled with fun and laughter and food and friends. As for me, I'm going to be working. I'll be at work. Working my butt off, programming something. Which, you know, it's not really work. If you have fun at something, and you get paid to do it. Is it considered a job? I don't know. I Ooh no! No 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 <laughs> uh. 
Dang it. <laughs> Uh, that is a long climb. That is a long way to fall. I need safety nets. Dude. <laughs> hmm. Climb, climb, climb. Climb, climb, climb. Climb in back up. Uh, I'm a little tired. And I'm also thinking about Fortnite. While I'm playing Lumber, I'm thinking about Fortnite. That's, that's horrible. That's bad. Uh, but I will go play. After I'm done here. You know, for a little bit before I have to go to bed. I wonder. Okay, so that's a full plot down there. Somebody's bought a full plot, but you don't have anything on it. That's got like two plots way separated. That is a very cool pond and stuff down there. I like that. Very cool. Okay. Up, up, up. <laughs> Danny's like, hey, family, you want to see my trap? Dude, no. <laughs> oh. That's the thing I was talking about at the beginning of the video. He, uh, has this thing that you walk across and you get stuck in. Family's really trying to be my friend, aren't you? Well, I appreciate it, but I got a rule. Hello. How are you? Later. Bye. Or is he saying later to me? Oh, he's saying later to Danny Boy for going and seeing his trap. Good choice. Because it's a scary trap. <laughs> He's just smiling. Just so happy to be with Code. Oh. <clears throat> so, huge shout out to the TBS crew um, on Fortnite. I got to uh, go and play with them last night. Pretty good. They're all on Xbox and they all freaked out and fanboyed. It was awesome. They said sorry for fanboying. Fanboy, if you if you're if you get all excited like oh my gosh it's going primate, I get excited too. It's it's something that happens, and I'm okay with that. I'm very happy to have fans. I love the music of Lumber. It's just Kevin MacLeod. It's so gentle and so... <sighs> I could work to this music. I think that's one thing that, that drives this game apart from a lot of other games. Wait, where's... There it goes. Whoa, don't fall code. Nope, don't want to move that one. I don't know that I'm going to have time to get the doors in there. Uh, I'll have to make another video and do more doors. More doors. Oh, oh come on. Come on. There we go. Move. Come on. There we go. Oh, yeah. We've still got time. we got plenty of time. Time to talk about things in life. Uh, I don't know how much life we're going to be talking about, but, you know. <clears throat> I do worry sometimes that my channel is not exciting enough. <clears throat> I do, I do. I get very self-conscious about my channel sometimes. Like, uh, I've had comments before where people say, your channel's dead, your channel's dying. It's not dying. It's doing very well, and it's it's still growing steadily but surely every single day. I'm having fun at what I'm doing, so no problem. I'm doing great. So, I don't know. People are just mean. A lot of the times people are mean. I mean, there are good people out there. Are you a good person? 
Comment down below if you're good. If you're not good, then I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> Actually, just comment what you're thinking. Like, whatever random thought is in your head right now, go. Comment it. I know somebody's going to be like, beef stew. <laughs> sure. <sighs> and if you don't want to comment, that's fine too. By the way, I saw Roblox Locus has started doing the whole, if you don't subscribe right now, the next time you go outside, gum is going to get stuck to your shoe. Locus. That's, that's fine, whatever. It's his channel. Do what you want. I just had a rant on that the other day about people doing the the ghost will be inside your bed. Stuff like that. I just... I uh, can't believe act people actually do that. Don't be gullible. There's nothing that's going to happen to you if you don't subscribe to somebody. Promise. Okay. You like my trap? Do you need access? Wrong slot. Slick Mills has joined. Hi, Slick. What's going on, buddy? I'm just going to get these ladders in place, and then I think I'm going to call that uh, uh, a vid. We'll, we'll be done. I do have to go up a little bit more. Well, you trapped my saw. What? Wait, I'm a load. <sighs> Didn't make too much progress, did we? I mean, walking out there just to see where it was going probably took more time than was needed. But that's okay. Let's just put this back real quick. There we go. Now, am I going to be able to... <gasps> no, no! Stop! Stop! What in the world? <sighs> okay. Jump off over there. Oof. Gonna have to climb up this, aren't I? Hi, Slick. <laughs> oof, oof, oof. Fell down. <laughs> you just missed me, Slick. Uh, I'm about to take off and call it a video, dude. By the way, for those of you who are needing the normal times that I play, it's usually 9.30 to uh, about 12 at night. Those are my normal times that I'm online. And if you just watch for my avatar, you can join me. Just follow me in, I'll be there. Every once in a while I do have to do server hops. Uh, say there's an ex exploiter that's inside the game and they're flinging stuff, I won't stay in that. So. For everyone else, you can join. Just follow me in. We'll be here. Look at my money. Look at your money. You got 14 million. Yay. I don't know that I've ever earned a million on my own. It's always been given to me. Yeah, that'd be a good series of uh, videos, wouldn't it? Making a mill on my own. Do it in private servers with a unknown Roblox character. Create a new alt for myself. Start an entire new series. Comment down below if you want to see that. Or don't. I mean, you don't have to. Okay, that's that's the last ladder. And that's that's quite a significant stretch of uh, ladders, actually. It's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. In fact, I think we should go ahead and move these up. Ooh, a woo. Now, if I'm putting doors on here, then I should be able to put 
put them right there. Looks like you might want to move, dude. You might want to move, Slick. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. You might move to the next wood. I'm moving the one you are on. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Good. <clears throat> Last one. Mm -hmm. Family says he's my fan. Didn't you like just join me today? But uh, if you're a fan, cool. Thank you. All right. There we go. Good deal. Look at that. Making progress. In fact, I, th I think that's that's going to be the screenshot right there, isn't it? You've eaten a pig candy, lol. How can you tell? <laughs> oh, all right. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon Two with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. As I rant and rave about the internet and things, that's okay. Um, you know, trying to give you moral direction if you want it. If you're not, that's cool too. You don't you don't have to watch these things. But I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be talking about it. And I'm gonna be playing some lumber. So love you guys very much. Have a great night. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll talk to you real soon. <sighs> Outro. Thank you.